The Economic Development and Institutions Project, led by Oxford Policy Management, aims to produce a body of original evidence and insights into institutional change and its link with economic outcomes. During its inception year, a matchmaking workshop was held to establish working relationships between practitioners, policymakers and academics. We want researchers to do evaluations as a result of meeting policymakers who are making a change in their countries. This uh, idea of uh, uh, doing matchmaking between researchers and uh, uh, government units and uh, uh, NGOs is really uh, fantastic and I could see uh, going from one uh, table uh, to another table. There are uh, possibly very, very interesting ideas. I talked to, to the researchers in the uh, matchmaking experience and with one we identified two or three topics and with other we identified four topics. You can imagine what would be identified in one year in, in Paraguay. The body of evidence of what works for policy making in Paraguay will grow exponentially. So, so far I've seen a lot of learning uh, taking place and some successful matches have already been established. So th that's very encouraging to see. These conversations between researchers and practitioners will give rise to a series of linked, randomised control trials. Randomised control trials is a methodology adapted from the research that is done typically in the pharmaceutical industry that allows us to try out a drug or a treatment and compare how folks under a treatment group that receive this treatment fare in comparison to a group of equivalent units or individuals who are not receiving the same treatment. In uh, economics, in uh, sociology, in uh, political science, we're trying to do the same thing, but with policy decisions, changing the rules of the game. When we do randomized control trials on an individual project, we get the effect of that project. The trick with a larger research program is to link them in a way that putting the pieces together is greater than each individual piece, that there's larger lessons to, to learn. There's a whole range of ways to do that. You can try different variations of a program in a number of contexts. The point of all of these different approaches, and they're sort of all valid, is to give you an answer that's gonna let you have a larger discussion with policymakers in a more robust way because you're drawing on a number of different experiences at once. We would like these experiments to be not something that is imposed or generated in an ad hoc manner by some foreign external agency that lands in a country and say, you know, let's try this new thing. We'd like this to be part of the organic, homegrown policy development. If we can take big policy questions, turn them into researchable questions, apply a linked RCT so we get the power of randomization with the applicability uh, and the dimensions of a linkage, then we can help uh, answer policymakers' questions with great research, and that's a fantastic thing for policymakers to take away from EDR.